Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back, whiskey friends, whiskey lovers, whiskey addicts. Tonight, I'm going to be doing a review on a sample that I picked up from my buddy Josh at Talking Whiskey. And that sample is the Chattanooga 1816 Reserve. And it's 90 proof. So if you guys, if you guys want to know more about it, stick around. Okay guys, welcome back. Chattanooga 1816 Reserve. Seems like uh, it's a new uh, a new whiskey. I've never even heard of really Chattanooga until my buddy Josh told me about them. Uh, they're in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And uh, they started out in 2015. They were doing a little thing with MGP, but then they got some new licensing. Now they can distill in their own hometown area, so now they're producing the juice in-house, which is pretty legit because, I mean, you wouldn't really be Chattanooga whiskey if you didn't distill in your, own, in your own county or state. But anyhow, the 1816 Reserve, it's a, it's a 90 proof. I'm going to hold it up. I poured it out a little bit. Look at the color of that beautiful bourbon whiskey. Oh, yeah. Doesn't it just look delicious? Typical bourbon color. It's caramel color. Um... The uh, the uh, 1816 is their um, what they're known for. Chattanooga whiskey is uh, known for that uh, whiskey because it's the first one they did. And um, as far as the history is concerned, I don't really know that much about them. I just like to drink whiskey and tell you if I think it's good or not. So I got this sample from him, and I'm really eager to try it out. And I'm gonna let you know what I think about it. So let's just go right into the nosing, straight out. What does this stuff smell like? Okay, <laughs> it's very, very fragrant. It, uh, it smells really good. It smells sweet. Um, probably gonna be hard for me to tell exactly what that sweetness is. Uh, maybe vanilla. I mean, it's really strong. Really strong, sweet smell. I mean, it smells really good. I, I, I doubt it tastes that good. It might. Who knows? Let's smell again. God, the smell of it is just amazing. It just makes you want to drink it. That's how good it smells. It's amazing. Um, let's just say it smells freaking great. Okay, now let's go for a sip here. Cheers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Definitely doesn't taste like it smells. It's um <coughs> Even though it's 90 proof, it's still pretty strong, man. It's got a <coughs> Excuse me, man. Jesus. It's got a freaking kick to it. It's uh it's spicy, it's oaky. It's dry. The finish is a little short and dry, but let's go back for another sip. Cheers. Well, I mean, it tastes good. It's an interesting tasting bourbon. I've actually never had anything like, like this. It's got a it's got a really good flavor, but it's very oaky, very oaky. And uh, this batch, I'm not sure if it's an MGP blend or if it's their own juice, but um, I don't even care. MGP is so good. They, they know how to make um, bourbon, so either way, it's freaking delicious. And um, I, I have some water over here, and uh, I'm going to quote my buddy Antonio. I'm going to add some water. You'll never know if it makes it better or not. So, yeah, I will add a drop here and we'll see if that changes anything. Hang on guys, I'll be right back. Okay guys, well that's doing its thing and the water's kind of mingling with the, the bourbon. I just want to give a shout out to my boy Josh, talking Whiskey. I'll link him up here somewhere. You can see who he is. Uh, I would highly recommend you go into his channel subscribing to him. The guy is super cool, super fun to watch. He's He's got a buddy that he does the uh, reviews with. His name's Colton. 
He's a super solid dude too. Um, although right now he's got a broken arm from riding his dirt bike, so it's hard to say if he's going to be doing any reviews um, anytime soon. But you never know. If I were him, I'd be drinking whiskey right now if I had a broken arm. Um, and then also I want to give a shout out to my other buddy, um, Antonio, over at Whiskey Quest. The guys help me a lot with my YouTube channel because I'm a total rookie and I don't know how to use anything. And he's, uh, he's excellent at reviewing uh, all types of whiskeys. Hence the name Whiskey Quest. He's on a quest to find all the whiskeys of the world. So I definitely recommend checking him out. And then I want to give one more shout out to my buddy Gary out there in the UK. If you guys are interested in Scotch whiskey or Irish whiskey, uh, jump up and look up here for Gary's uh, channel, Gary's Whiskey Reviews. He is such a cool guy to talk to. I know um, he's, his reviews are kind of unique, but super cool guy, very knowledgeable, and I highly recommend his channel. Super underrated channel. Anyhow, let me see how the whiskey's doing. Let's, uh, let's go back to it now uh, with uh, the water, one drop added. Be right back, guys. Okay, here it is. It's just been sitting. Excuse me. And uh, we'll, let's just check. Uh, who knows what's going to happen now that we've added water to it. But generally speaking, in my experience of adding water to bourbons, is they become spicier. So let's see if that's the case. I mean, I thought this was already kind of oaky and spicy. Let's see how much more spicy it is now. Smell it. Still smells freaking amazing. God, they should make this um, 1816 rever Reserve into like an air freshener. Like you just spray it around your house. You can spray it everywhere. Dude, that seriously, I should come up with an invention. Bourbon or whiskey air freshener. The type you spray like pshh. You just dust the whole room with whiskey, dude. That'd be freaking awesome. Anyhow, back to the to the to the taste of it with the drop added. So here it goes. Cheers. Actually, surprisingly, in this, uh, oh, never mind. Holy crap. I was going to say that it wasn't that bad, but man, that's like a delayed after effect. It's very spicy. Not initially, but then once you swallow it, it is. Whew. Gnarly. Let's go back for another sip. Cheers. Mm-hmm. When I like to drink bourbon, whiskey, scotch, whatever, beer, I like to swish it around. Kind of open up all the flavors, kind of get everything. Kind of savor it. <laughs> Do like a mouthwash swish before you swallow it. I just tend to, I just think that it's better that way. Hey, but drink it however you like. If you want to shoot it, shoot it. Man, that's good, dude. 1816 Reserve, legit. I definitely buy that stuff. But uh, yeah, that's my review. It's uh, it's uh, like a 10 out of 10. It's super good. Uh, highly recommended. Check out Chattanooga Whiskey Co. I'll link them below. I'll put some pictures up in the review so you can kind of see. I'll put a picture of the bottle so you can see how it looks. Um, and uh, again, special thanks to uh, Josh Talking Whiskey for, for giving me a sample. And then uh, also special thanks to my buddy Antonio and Gary. So... Uh, Definitely check out their channels. I'll link them below. And uh, thank you so much for watching my video. Like and subscribe to me. And uh, drop me some comments, guys. Let me know if you guys have tried this stuff or if you have some whiskeys you want me to try. And uh, yeah, that's it. So catch me on the next uh, review. And peace out. Cheers, guys.